Okay, the second in the um, Revolution series processes is the AV Revolution. The topography for this is pretty much the same as the Zone Rev. The AV Rev is aimed at lecture theatres, boardrooms, those kind of single room processes that, that need multiple outputs. So with the AV Revolution I have six stereo inputs available plus four mic line inputs and that is sending out to three stereo outs and two separate mono outs. Again, all inputs are, are available to all output zones and I'm just selecting what I need in those areas. To give you a look at the software, I'll just jump out of this. As you can see, the look and feel is very much the same as Zone Rev. If I log out of my advanced screen, again, I boot up to an end user GUI, which again, I just use tabs to go through the separate outputs. So I have mic line mixing, mixing for my stereo inputs, pan controls for my mic line ends, zone master with metering, individual mutes, etc. I can also recall presets from this screen. To have a quick look at the uh, advanced screen, again, the first screen I go to allows me to set maximum and minimum parameters for my control screen. And from here, I can also go into my audio setup page, which shows me my DSP processing. As you can see, very much a same look and feel as the Zone Revolution. I have my four mic lines and my six stereo inputs, again, with metering on this overview screen so I can see what's coming in where. Again, same processing for my mic line ends, same processing again for my equalization on inputs and dynamics control. Again, more comprehensive EQ on my outputs, which is stereo linkable, output limiting, output delay, and digital trim on the outs. Again, I can run a number of Icon CP wall panels off this system. Uh, the Icon CPs, again, can be configured to do a whole bunch of different uh, scenarios. As we've got this one set up, I can set this up to target inputs and then adjust the volume of those inputs so to give a remote mixing point if you like in a boardroom or a lecture theatre situation and I have real-time volume indication of what I'm controlling and again I can set up uh, panels to recall presets or look at input volumes, output volumes, whatever I need to do. Uh, I can run a number of these wall panels and they run via a Cat5 RS485 network straight from the back of the unit. The other thing that I have, which I mentioned earlier, is an iPad app. This is a free application that we have available on the iTunes uh, website for download and it will work with uh, any iPad. It's a free download and what this gives you is another control surface for end users. It's not for programming, it just allows end users to have a wireless control over that GUI screen. Again, I've got all my tabs available with mic line mixing and stereo input mixing, stereo master and mutes, uh, and I can also recall presets from this screen. So, again, it gives you a, another interface to control your AV system uh, and it's uh, very simple to use and quite intuitive.